Hi everyone, the Magical Flower Nerd here. I hope you're all doing okay and you're staying positive during this time. Christmas is almost here and I am super excited and I'm very festive. Uh, I've got lots of great news to share with you. The first one is I finally opened my shop. I now have Etsy and I'm now available on Depop and I now have business cards. If you'd like a business card, just drop me a message and I will send you one. Um, I'm also very pleased to announce that I have made my first delivery and it got great positive reviews. Check out my Instagram if you'd like to see it. I also now have a catalogue available, which I am really, really happy about. Um, I'd like to show you a really quick video, so hold tight and check it out. So that was my cute little video of my fishy in a dishy. Um, I crocheted the fish, I made the outline out of cotton, and then I decided to um, make a nice little spirally, almost like scaly texture at the back, and I put some um, gold acrylic on to make him shine. Then I thought, hmm, let's make him in his own bubble. So I put some string around the hoop, I attached him, and decided I want to put a fishing rod in there. I want to like kind of like almost catch him like catch the feeling so that's exactly what i did so check it out so you guys the same as a rookie with stop motion it's incredibly difficult very time consuming you have to get it just right get your frames right get your iso right your frames per second oh my goodness it's so difficult but i love a challenge as jean france said in apollo 13 failure is not an option and i live by that so, I had a little go on an app called Flipbook, and it's absolutely terrible, and for 76 pictures that I used, I managed to get 12, maybe a little less seconds of footage. So, here you go, it's absolutely terrible, but it's my first attempt. Out of many, I won't give up, and I will keep on trying. Positivity, people. Positivity. Check it out. So, as you see, my terrible stop motion was truly terrible. So, um, I decided that I was going to make the best out of a bad situation. So, what I decided to do was, um, I went on Instagram and I thought, you know what, play around with the filters, get a bit of audio in there. Um, and I decided that I was going to take Metal Fishy on a journey. Now, I love collage. As you know, I am the collage queen. 
and I thought why not include this in video, it doesn't all have to be still life. So I decided to take my fishy in a dishy on a wishy adventure. Check it out! So, great news everyone, I've managed to get on Etsy and I'm on Depop now. I'm also available on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Magical Flower Nerd Artist. Um, I'll give you my business card, um, it'll be at the front of the video, in the middle of the video and at the end of the video. So you'll be able to contact me and if you have any further questions just don't be afraid to contact me. Um, my Etsy and my Depop are on this video, they have the link and there are some things that you might be interested in. Uh, there's only a few things on the store available at the moment, but I can promise you there are more to come. It is the festive season. Um, at the moment, I'm very proud of my dream catches. Um, some are very abstract, some are very um, time consuming, but I'm so proud of what I've been able to accomplish. Um, I couldn't have done it without my textile teacher, Nicola, who has absolutely brought the best out of me. I, at first, I did not think I could crochet for my life. But now I am doing crocheting and running a business uh, for a living and it's going extremely well. Uh, also to add, I have, have a new team member, uh, Crimson Fox. He is now my aerial photographer. Uh, we're taking some fantastic pictures uh, that will be available in the next video. Um, we're just waiting for them to download and uh, we'll show you everything we've taken. We went into the woods and took some fantastic pictures. It was foggy got some fantastic mood pictures so um, I'm, I'm just so proud of that so I decided I want to set myself a challenge so uh, as you now know we are in December and I decided to do 31 days of drawing so a drawing a day now it could literally be a doodle a line and it can be anything from the top of my head to textures, uh, tones, um, memories. What, what I wanted to do is I wanted to explore my mind and put it down in paper. Um, at the moment I'm struggling a little bit with my mental health. Uh, Covid isn't helping and I feel like I'm a little bit trapped. Uh, so I thought um, that I'm going to do some drawing and uh, like in my last video about diaries, I've now also got my own diary as I can show you here. Now, I am not going to open it because um, that will be my uh, New Year's video, uh, you know, hence uh, 31 days of drawing. Um, I've done some lime drawing, I've done some water pencil colouring uh, drawings, which I'm very, very proud of. Because um, I've never used water pencil before and, well, that's a little lie, I have, but it's failed and I've refused to do it since. But as I've just told you, I refuse to give up and failure is not an option. So I've given it another go and I really, really enjoyed it. And as a tree, I am going to show you one of the drawings that I've done. Now, none of these drawings have to be perfect because at the end of the day, they're in a diary. Now, diaries are a way to express yourself, how to make yourself feel better. And I want to show you guys that it's a really good way to start a new project to project your feelings, to make you feel more positive about yourself. And um, I'll show you a picture now. It's a little bit of a secret, but I'm gonna share it with you guys because I love you. Also doing this diary has helped me revisit some of my previous videos that I've been doing. So I've been looking at my text, my tone, my textures, and my emotions while I'm drawing. And I didn't realize how important it was. I've also been revisiting my sketchbook work as well. I've been making notes of my colors. And I'm, with my water pencils, I've been using a little bit of water, too much water, actually dipping the pencil in the water, using on water-based surfaces, and how much opportunity that I've had. So a little tip for rookies, or even just a little reminder for those who are in an education. Um, I just, I strongly recommend that experimentation is very important. Don't just do the first thing that comes to your head and just assume that that's it, because there are so many opportunities out there. When I was colouring last night with my pencils, I just thought, great, this is an old pencil thing. And I put a bit of water in and I got a totally different outcome. So a little tip for you guys, try something new. Here, check out what I did.
So, thanks to my new uh, studio, I now have a new PC, keyboard, um, new materials, lighting. Yes, true, I'm still working from my bedroom and I'm working from home, but it's not the end of the world. It's about the thought that counts, right? So, um, y'all, don't forget about your viewfinders and don't forget about your digital editing, because remember, you can always come up with a different outcome. So, uh, I ha now have an Asus computer. It is absolutely fantastic. It does everything I need to and more. Um, and thank you, Asus, for giving me that. And the PC has also given me the ability to uh, start looking at graphic design again. Uh, I'm using Adobe, um, so I'm working on my drop repeat patterns. I'm working on my interior designs. Uh, I'm working on my business cards and I'm keeping on top of all my business stuff on here, including my shops. I'm also doing my lookbooks again, which I really, really love. Um, uh, from my last video, I showed people how to do a lookbook on Windows and uh, iOS. And uh, here's an example. Um, so I've also been working on my photography as well. Uh, I'll show you a few examples in a minute. Uh, and I've also been working on filters, colour, contrast, alignment, um, shadows, highlights, uh, shutter speed, uh, ISO and um, FX. So, you know, the photography triangle. No, not the Illuminati. And um, here's a few examples. So, um, for those who are looking for a little bit of inspiration, I strongly recommend that we're going on Pinterest. Now at the moment I'm looking at a um, continuous line. Uh, a great one is Egon Sheila and David Hockney, uh, also Picasso, uh, my favourite artist. And um, now I'm going to show you one of the paintings that I did in Year 8. Now I was given a canvas and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, in Year 8 I had a fringe and I don't look any better than I did in Year 8. Um, and I decided to do a Julian Opin uh, portrait. Here, take a look and tell me what you think. So one of my next tasks that I might be doing, and here's another little spoiler, is that I'm going to have another go at doing my Julian Opie attempt. A little bit more modern, uh, using acrylic paint, maybe water. I think more of acrylic considering it's a bit more bold. So we'll see how that goes. So. That's all for now and I will keep you updated very soon and tell you how my journal is going and how my attempts of Julian Opie is going. I hope you're all staying very safe, very positive. Um, if you need a friend just inbox me and if you need a partner, here I am. So um, if there's any questions don't be afraid to ask me. Um, also if you want to place a delivery please do it now to avoid disappointment. Uh, I am limited to supplies, so please let me know if you want me to make something. I will customise it for you and make it beautiful. So, this is Lottie saying, Lottie loves you baby, and stay safe. I know it's hard times, but if I don't see you now, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you later.